Hi you guys, it's Kimberly. I am so excited to share this with you guys. I saw one of those posts on Facebook where it was just like a little mini tutorial with um, pictures and I had to give this a try because I just thought it, that it was such a cute idea. It's using your fuse tool and this is the first time that I've even taken my fuse tool out of the box and um, so it's the first time that I've ever even used a fuse tool and I am so surprised at how incredibly easy it is to use. Now there, I did have an error at first with one of these <coughs> because you kind of have to gauge on how much pressure you put on this tool. I was using too much pressure when I first started but let me show you these first. Look how cute these little adorable jars are. They're little shaker jars. Aren't they cute? So this one is just the main little gem in here. It's just one of those little Dollar Tree butterflies that you get in a package. This one I used um, a little applique or a little patch um, a while back. Uh, it's been years, probably eight years. I got a whole um, package of patches at Hobby Lobby because I needed to patch a pair of jeans and um, so I just got this whole pat, this whole package of patches and it had a bunch of patches in them and I've not used them and it had these tiny little ones in it and um, these were some of them that will fit inside of these little pouches so I pulled the smaller ones out <coughs> sorry dry throat again today Excuse me. So I put the cherries in that one, and then here's another one with a butterfly. And then these ones are the little gorgeous girl dolls that I printed off and made very, very tiny. And put those in there. And then here's another one with a gorgeous doll. And then I used um, the little confettis that I got the other day at the Dollar Tree which they're the little stars and there's multiple sizes in the package so I dumped them in one of the little containers I got at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna go back and get some more of these because these have just become quite useful and I've almost filled them all up so I put those sequins in one of those I also used um, some of the seed beads that I've gotten on sale, like these ones I got at Walmart for a dollar. I got a couple of colors of those. And a couple of them I used these little nail art wheels that I got at the Dollar Tree. They came in a package that looked like this. And I'll be able to recycle the packaging as well because I'll use the backer board as um, tags. I'll use this part as a tag and then these will come in really handy as paint trays. So I'll save the packaging off of those. What else did I use? Oh, um, and one of them, this one here, I used these bigger seed beads and I put those in there. So I just gathered things that I already had. These are the little gorgeous dolls that I've and yes, I fussy cut all of these out. So if you don't have the mindset to fussy cut, because these are quite challenging to do, but I like to cut, so it's I, I enjoy it. Um, j these are all Happy Meal that I got in pocket letters and flip books that I've saved. That I really, you know, my intention was to make sh shaker cards with these that I haven't done yet. And so I finally put a container together of things that I can use to make shaker cards. So I've got, this was in my mom's stash from when she died. Um, these are just little glittery things that I got at Walmart. They came in this set of um, five. Um, this was sent to me in Happy Mail. All of the little baggies. Somebody sent me 
this in Happy Mail, but then I also found this at the Dollar Tree. So I got a package and somebody sent me a package. Um, here's some more seed beads that I got that I put in here. Um, you can also use little cutouts like these I did by hand, the little book pages. I did those ones by hand. And then these ones I did on my Cricut. So those will fit in there. So you can put paper, you can put words, which I think when I make some with you today, I'm gonna put some phrases in there. Um, here's some wood veneers that people have sent me in pocket letters that I think that I'll use. Um, so just anything little that you have. I just pulled out a bunch of stuff that I already had. I did look for sequins at Michael's the other day when I was there, and it, they're, it's just expensive, and I just wasn't willing to pay as much for sequins. So what I think I'm going to do to build up some more, because really this is all the sequins and confetti that I have. So, And I really am enjoying this fuse tool, so I want to be able to do more with it. Um, come up with some more ideas um, like this so I think I'm gonna go to like Party America and see because you know they have like all of the different confettis and stuff for parties and um, I kind of like the confetti ones um, like these flowers the flowery one where is it that somebody sent me this one is really cute I like I like that but I think that you can find a bunch of different confettis that are much like this too. So I'm going to check out like Party America and that kind of thing. I did look, I had to go to the pharmacy at um, Walmart yesterday to pick up some turmeric for um, my family. Haley has a wasp um, sting that we're trying to get the local effect from that down and my husband has gout that we're trying to get the inflammation from that down. So I did have to go and get some turmeric. So I looked really quick at their sequence and they hardly have any, um, but I couldn't spend a whole lot of time, but I just can't, I can't find what I want. Yes, they've got some, but I'm just not finding what is in my mind that I want. So anyways, let me show you how I did this. I under this video I will um, post the file for this um, little gem of a so you all you have to do is print out these ball jars now if you don't want to use mine if you want to use a different ball jar because I know that there's different there's like blue ones and there's different sizes and whatnot but the one that I've used to print that fit in, and this is just the baseball card sleeves. Um, and if you, and this side, you know, you could probably go a little bit bigger, not a whole lot bigger, but a little bit bigger. I like them this size, but if you wanted to go bigger, you could always, you know, make your own. But I'll leave the file so you, if you want, you can download the file and use my file for this. Or you can make your own, but it's there, I'm, you know, it's free, so if you want to download mine, you can. You can have it. Any kind of these files, I'm going to start. Anything that I print off of my computer, I'm going to leave you guys free. You can, you can use it for free. Um, because that'll just, you know, help you guys, and that, that's what I, it's all about, is to share my ideas and inspire you, and if, and if it makes it easier for you guys to create, then um, that's what it's all about for me. So what I did is I printed a, a full sheet of these little mason jars. I just found these on Google, found the one that I liked the best, um, made the sheet, and printed them, and then I just cut them. So let me show you. I did leave a little bit of space. I didn't get right up to the edge. Here, let me come in a little bit for you. That's too far. I'm gonna try my best to stay in frame here. I did leave a little edge. I didn't go all the way up. Because I think it's fine to leave a little white edge. I actually think it, it makes the image look nicer because you're not 
and see like right there I went a little close but that's okay it doesn't have to be perfect it's not going to change the way it looks at all don't give up on it just you know don't it doesn't have to be perfect Now I am somewhat of a perfectionist and you don't probably don't even have to do this to the point of perfection that I do things. I'm just that way. I don't fight it. People say, oh, don't be such a perfectionist. Do what's comfortable to you. If you're a perfectionist, be a perfectionist. That's what it's all about is doing things that make you happy. If you're a perfectionist, be a perfectionist. Now, don't let go of it just to make other people happy. So see, that little rim on there, I like the rim. Now, if you don't like the rim, sorry, I'm trying. If you don't like the rim, then go all the way up to the jar. Do whatever you're happy with. I like it having a little bit of a rim. Okay, and then I just stuffed them inside my little sleeve. Now I didn't go all the way down because I want to be able to use my tool. Now at first when I used my tool, I tried to use this ruler thing. You know, I tried to put it up against the edge and eh, it didn't work for me. I tried to use this little hole here, this little peek -a hole this little peek -a hole right here, and that didn't work for me either. It just didn't. So I just free handed it. You got to do what you're comfortable with. but. I, I was comfortable freeing it. Now, do you guys remember those sheets I got? Those, I don't know what I did with it. Those little cutting board sheets that I got. What did I do with that, girls? Let me do it. No, not that. I just want mine. I got these little cutting board sheet thing. Oh, it's right here. It's right in front of me. Two came in a package, right? Well, my mind told me that this would work to use my fuse tool on. Well, it didn't. You know why? Because it melted. You can see right here where it melted. So that wasn't such a, ooh, and see, look, I'm putting it on there and it's melting it over here. So that didn't work, right? Well, my tabletop has a piece of plexiglass on it. So I just tested it. You know, this plexiglass I got at the creative reuse here in Colorado and they were everything was half off so originally it was 750 it was half off of that so it was right around um, I don't know what is half of 750 375 so that's all I paid for this it's already a bit scratched up and stuff um, so I'm not my husband's gonna get me a piece of glass cut to go my table is this really weird shape because it's a corner thing so um, at some point I mean it's not gonna be anytime soon but when this is wore out and not usable which is probably gonna be a few years I'm gonna get a piece of glass cut for the top of my desk so I'm not really really worried about it because it's already getting scratched up and whatnot so I just went ahead and did the fuse tool on it because I knew that I I can only go lightly on these sheet protector things because if you go too heavy it just goes right through it like it cut it works as a cutting tool so I knew that if I went lightly on this plastic that it probably wasn't going to go through to my plexiglass, which it, it didn't. It worked perfectly. But I'm telling you, you have to have a very, very light hand with this or it goes right through the plastic. So if you're new to these, you just have to barely touch this on here and roll it on here. And I, like I said, I just free handed it. Now I'm not really picky about how close I get to this. Let me come in so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm not picky about this. My goal here is to get the plastic to melt around it, right? So I'm, but I want to go fast enough that I don't melt through this plastic because then I'm going to have a hole in it and it's not going to work. So I'm not barely even, I'm just 
touching it on there. I'm not putting any pressure to push it down. You don't need to. And then I'm leaving my top open. Okay, and you can see how it's gone through. So I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna start over here. Sorry, I'm trying to pay attention to both things. I'm just gonna go around the edge, make sure I'm on the plastic. I'm not pushing any pressure down. I'm just letting the weight of the tool itself do the work because I don't want to melt my plastic all the way through. And you don't want it sitting on there for a long period of time. And then if you turn it over, you can see that it melted all the way around that. Okay, let's do this last one. Make sure I'm in frame. So I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna go around. If I, if I get caught up, I'm gonna pull it up because I don't want it sitting on the plastic because it will burn through. Okay. If I have to turn, I'm gonna pick it up because I don't want it sitting on the plastic. Pick it up. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over and make sure that it's sealed all the way through. Okay, it's just that easy. Now I've noticed on some videos that people were having problems figuring out this stand. Do you have a little groove in between here and here? Your stand is made to fit in between that groove and it's not gonna tip over. Now I made the mistake of grabbing that thing just a few minutes after um, I don't know what I was thinking. Obviously, I wasn't thinking, but I grabbed that. This thing is hot, as hot as a soldering iron. So be very careful with this thing. The girls were like, ooh, Grandma, I want to try it. And I said, nope, this is one tool that you will not be trying. So, and it sits just fine. If you put that there, it's fine. It doesn't tip. I saw some people using this, and they were trying to, like, set it there. No, you put it there and it's not gonna go anywhere. Put it in between those two pieces. Okay, so here's our jar. Now, you're not done because as soon as you fill them, you're gonna have to seal that top part back up. So now when you cut, you don't wanna cut into your line, but you wanna get pretty darn close to it without cutting into it. Okay, so I'm just cutting along the outside edge of where I fused it. Take your time. It's supposed to be relaxing. That's one thing about making videos in the beginning. I was all worried about the length of my videos and I was rushing through it and stuff. And then I thought, that's really silly. Um, don't rush through it. Just do your time. Now I'm gonna make this shorter just because it's easier for me to get stuff in it. But don't go all the way to the rim. Leave yourself some room there to fuse the top of this, okay? And then you can always put your finger in here just to make sure. Now if you start to fill this and things start falling out, are you eating my sunflower seeds? What? I like sunflowers. Jeez, you sneaky. I always have sunflower seeds on my desk and she's over here sneaking them. So this, um, like I said, if, you, if things start to fall out, don't give up on it. You can always, you know, as long as it's not um, cut through, it didn't fuse through, you may still be able to seal it if it's just because you didn't get a good get a good seal on it. So that one looks pretty good. So I'm gonna cut this next one. I'm gonna try to stay in frame here. So I'm just gonna cut around it. I'm not gonna cut through the fuse. Mm -hmm. What this one I do? Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to be really careful. Take my time. Sheet protector a bit, but that's okay. I can see right there I might have to go over that point because it doesn't look completely sealed through. This gives you a chance to be able to inspect your seals too when you're cutting this. Okay, cut that off. And then I'm going to trim it, but I'm not going to go all the way to the top of that. Okay, so it looks like, where was that spot? Um, now I don't see it. Oh, it's right here. I can see it. So I am just going to touch this right here. There we go. Okay, this one looks a little messy. I don't know. I don't know why, but it just looks a little messy. But that's okay. Looks like I was just a little heavy-handed. It's probably because it was the first the first one that I did on camera. So I typically am not nervous on camera, but you know, when you first do something, even you know, though I did those other ones, I had to get into my group. I had to get my group back. And this one, I was a little heavy-handed. I can see already right here where it had the potential of burning through. It didn't, but can you guys see that? Let's see if the camera will focus on it. Might not focus with this. There we go. See right there on the corner? Right here. See how it looks like it could have had the potential to burn through? I don't think it did. But it started to. So that's why you have to use such a, be so light handed with it. Because mm -hmm. the first one I did, I was filling it and the stuff was coming right out, out of it. I'm like, oops, I have a hole. See this one? It like burnt right through it in a couple of different places. Right here, this whole side. I am really zoomed in. So see, it will melt right through. Let me come back out. Okay. So I'm gonna put that tool aside because I don't wanna accidentally hit it with it myself. Hit it with me. Oh, and I'll go in a phone house self. Okay, so we've got three to fill. Um, I haven't used these little stars, and I kind of wanted to put some tiny words in there. And I don't know how well this is going to work, but let's give it a shot, right? Never know until you try. So let me... I really like these ones that I cut out of the paper from one of the notebooks that I made. And this one says faith. Go figure, right? Faith, it's like my favorite word in the English language. But let's first, I'm gonna first add, now this is probably gonna get shifted around it in its life, this shaker, but I'm gonna try to get this stuff on top or on the bottom of it so that you'll be able to read it. This is kind of the tricky part. You guys see what I'm doing here? I'm just taking the bag. These are little star. Oh, they're so cute. I wish I knew where the person got those. Look how cute those are. They are so cute. And I don't want to put a whole lot of little stuff in here because I really, really want the word to show up. So I'm going to put some of these little pink seed beads in here. And you're going to spill. That's part of it. Just going to kind of pick them up. It's not hard to get this stuff in here. I mean, you got a pretty big lip on the top of your plastic here. 
Oh, see, I have a hole right there. Okay, so I'm going to pinch it at the top. Don't want everything to fall out of there. I'm going to try to seal that up. No, stay up there. I don't know if it melted. Yep, it melted, so this one's no good. Darn it. So let's get this one. And this is just part of it. I mean, this is learning a new tool. You're gonna, ha I'm gonna have these issues, and you guys might have these issues too. So that's just all part of the learning process. So let's take these guys, dump them in another one. I'm gonna get them all because they're so cute. Okay, let me try to pick these up with my finger. I got two. Two out of three is not bad. It's better than half. No more. I need all my sunflower seeds. Let me close it. Grandma, can I get this close? Make sure I don't have a leak in this one. No, no leak in this one. So what I do is when I have a leak, I just open it because I can reuse this jar. Okay, and then that way I'm not... Oh, I just did the wrong one. So it looks like I'm only going to be able to fill one for you guys unless I fuse more. Whoops. This is the one that was leaking. Oh, darn. Oh, well, that happens too. That's okay. You'll be able to see me fill one. Okay, so I'm going to put my word in. Oh, that looks so cute. You could put two words in. Here, let's put this one in. This one says, Love God. And this was just scrapbook paper left over that I had. Oh, I really like that. And then you get the person, you know, that you send it. Oh, this one has a hole in it, too. Oh, no, those are just sitting on the top of it. Okay. No, you know what? I don't like the two in there because one's just sitting on top of the other one. So here, let me take that one out. Oh, I really like the way that looks. Do you guys like the way that looks? And then let's add some, this is just my Martha Stewart glitter. Remember when Michaels was getting rid of a lot of their Michael Stewart, M Michael, Michael Stewart, Martha Stewart stuff. I got these mega on sale. No, oh, it's coming out the top because I'm shaking it so hard. No, you know what? There is a hole in it over here. Okay, well, let's see if I can. Okay, there we go. Okay, so then when you get the stuff in there that you want, you could put more. Let's see. You could put a little flower in there. Maybe I'll put some of this glitter. And yeah, I'll seal it up. So then you're just gonna take the top and you're gonna run it along the edge. Just like that. And then, you know, if you need to trim anything off of it, go ahead and do it. Okay. And there you go. Look how cute that is. Oh, my eyes go the wrong direction. There. 
So aren't those cute, you guys? I just think that they came out so cute and I can't wait to make some more because you can just keep making, di putting different things in there. Um, I wanted to, I, in my second one that I made before, I just ripped it up. I was gonna do some paper hearts in it. I've got, you know, the bigger paper hearts that I cut out, but then I also have some smaller ones that I think would have been really cute. And I, I'm probably gonna keep making some of these. But won't those be cute in there, these little ones? So there you go. I can't wait to see what you guys make. If you guys make some of these things or any of the things that I do on my channel, will you please show them to me, post pictures of them on my um, community Facebook page? It's really easy to remember. It's just Faith Unedited XOXO. And if you go into the search bar on Facebook and just type in at, you know, the little at symbol, Faith Unedited XOXO, you can find it really easily. And there's a link in the description box under every one of my videos. I will put a file that you can download for these little jars that it will print out on a sheet for you. Okay? And um, let me see what you guys do with this. If you don't have a fuse tool, and I know that it is one of those pricey items and it's something that um, I didn't think that I was going to be able to get. But the way I got this is Joann's had them on sale and I was able to get it for, I believe I got it for, I don't remember, I don't want to misquote. I think I got it for 18 But remember, you can always use your... 50% off coupons for these. So keep an eye for when they go on sale or um, make sure that you um, use a coupon to get them. It's called a Fuse. They are made by a company called Memory Makers. Is that what it is? I put the sheet. I put the sheet away. Does it say on here? We are memory keepers. That's what it is. We are memory keepers. And it's called the Fuse. Photo Sleeve Fuse. This is what the packaging looks like. Okay, so when, when you get this, what you get in it is the um, Photo Sleeve Fuse tool, which is this part. You get the fuse tool, which is this roller, and then you also get um, a, another tip, which is a cutting tip. And that tip looks like this little guy. I'm trying to get it for you. This. It's a gold tip, and I guess you can use it to cut, which that other little roller thing will cut for you, too. You get the stand, and you also get this little tool. This little ruler tool. Okay, so I hope you guys make these. They're really fun. It's just another take on a shaker type thing, but I think they are so cute with the ball jars. So I hope you guys have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And as always, God bless. Bye, you guys. We'll talk to you later.